Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Soul Eater episode number 44. Okay, um, first of all I'm doing a poll to replace Soul Eater after it ends. So the link to the poll will be in the comment section. Uh, go to the poll and you can vote for your like the anime that you want me to react. There are five of them so there are a lot of choices. Okay, um, so yeah, the previous episode, uh, Soul Eater, it was a, a kid-centric episode. Um, kid got into, like, uh, kind of deviated, uh, is like thinking about deviating. Uh, I think he will not make a choice unless and until he gathers all evidences and understands what is actually happening in Shibutsen and what is, like, Shinigami, what is his plan, actual plan. So whatever that is, we'll also see and after that I'll like talk about the whole thing of what Shibusen is doing. Is it something okay or is it something that is not good? Like we'll have to see what is actually happening. So yeah, uh, so yeah, that, it was basically that episode, a kid uh, stumbling upon one of the uh, magic uh, tools and uh, there was like a little bit of a message at the end as well and all of those mysteries and all Yeah, that was basically episode number 43. So yeah guys without further ado Let's get started with episode number 44 of Soul Eater I'm putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started All right, so here's the countdown three two one go Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Maka has this uh, convenient ability. He has a f filter as well. <laughs> hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. He has already interacted with Krona before as well. Uh, she knows uh, Krona's wavelength and everything. He like got into that like inner like soul of Krona. She's familiar with it. Hmm. Okay. Ah, okay. And I've also like mentioned this in previous episode, but I'm still not like sold on the fact that Stein really has like deviated. I don't know why, but he is extremely strong and uh, after the whole like episode of him thinking about like whether he should like listen to his heart or like go for Medusa after that whole episode him going and like working with Medusa really is not something that I I don't know like it's really fishy kind of I might be like overthinking this who knows we'll see Okay. Oh, they're the forest. No. Oh my god, Marty is bad with directions.
Wait, she's pointing the opposite direction. What? Oh. Yes. Just like go in the opposite direction Mari points to. You'll go like reach your destination. <laughs> hmm. Weakling crown. Okay, they're here, I think. No. Yes. <laughs> Krona got it. <laughs> um, got the trick of finding the right direction. <laughs> yep, there they are. Or not. Empty. Oh, wait, the trap? Hey. Oh! Ooh. Wow. You're forgetting, she's a death sight. She's extremely strong. Oh, that was Krona? Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> well, I know, like, Mari is strong because obviously she's dead sight, so she's also strong. Yeah. Who are calling to asking to rendezvous? This is Black Star. He doesn't rendezvous. Okay. <gasps> oh. And here's Justin and the chainsaw guy. Ooh. Oh boy. Well, he can use it, it as a roller. <laughs> Gates as well. <laughs> oh boy. Hmm. Oh. Damn. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she can't bring that up now. Yes. Krona as well. He's going to say that he came here on his own. Stuff like that. Uh. <laughs> oh. 
Let's see. Oh boy, here it goes again. Oh, sh he had already had this. Gushin. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, when Stan will come back. <sighs> huh? To like end all of this. To put an end to break the shackles. <clears throat> okay. Medusa's not happy. Uh. Mm. No, they're, they're not related to Shibusen. Come on, Stein, say something. Just anything. <laughs> wow, she has everything, like excuse for each and everything. What else? Yeah, they won't be do able to do anything? Yeah, okay. That's obvious. Yes, the reverse. Hmm. Just knock her out. That should be like the only way, I think. Oh, who is this? Is this El Elka? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you're working for her. <laughs> okay, let's see what she has, what trick she has up her sleeve. Yeah, I, I also can't understand. How will she deal with Medusa? What? Um. Oh. 
what will she do like can't hurt her so um ragnarok please cooperate <laughs> she bended the whole thing Oh lord <laughs> Wait Oh So he's going for Stein What light? Yeah exactly um yeah she's he's he still has that kind of Mm, yeah, he said it. Yeah, that's why you were able to manipulate him. Hmm. Oh, no. And here we go again. He's going to say that you're the same as me. So what? What else will you observe? Like, oh, <laughs> family matter. So he is really like. It's really what? Oh, God damn it. I still had like a little bit of. Yeah, the, like they were comrades once. Oh boy, there is. Oh my. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Maka will has have to come in, otherwise.
Okay. To obey the new. Won't listen. Oh boy. Oh, god damn, what the? Oh no. I knew it. This was a bad like. Oh no, it won't work. Like Chrono was still not ready for this. Like I knew it. Oh boy. Okay, Maka is here, I think. Yep. Now what will you do? Like, Maka has soul resonance and Medusa can, is like weakened. Okay, well, obviously this was going to happen. Like this was extremely predictable. And like, as I said before, like Krona had not, like did not gain that confidence and had nothing. Like he came here to get slaughtered. That was basically it. And obviously Mari would also be unable to do anything in this situation because Stan would be there and try to like stop her. <laughs> and Stan is pretty damn strong. So like I had a little bit of, um, like a thing, like I thought maybe, just maybe Stan was really faking this. Because he was like silent for the like past few episodes and uh, like in one of the episodes we saw him kind of like coming in front of his own like uh, self in the like thing and <clears throat> the, like all of those kind of made me think like maybe Stan is faking this and he will like he's doing this so that uh, like Maka and all of them can recognize his soul wavelength and go to Medusa's base. That that way, by tricking Medusa, like they will get uh, an upper hand on Medusa and get to like uh, her base. <laughs> but turns out it was nothing that complicated. It was simply like Stein was brainwashed, like not brainwashed, but affected by the madness. As it is, it's as simple as it looks. And I don't know what to feel about this because obviously, like, Stan is supposed to be one of the strongest. And seeing him like this is something that, I don't know, like, it's kind of like a weird type of uh, plot device they pulled out. That is, like, Stan is unable, like, has this madness inside him. He cannot, like, uh, save himself from, uh, like, the situation. So like Medusa in her like weakened state was able to control Stein and like yeah this is like a convenient plot device because obviously Medusa is in no situation to like save herself because her power is weakened, she is like in a child's body so like you have to have someone to like help her and that someone being Stein uh, the like if even if someone comes in they would be like hesitant to fight against Stein because uh, like Stein was one of their comrades and they know like Stein is not doing everything on his own this is like under the influence of the madness so yeah like 
I thought maybe like it was not as it seemed. Maybe Stein was really faking it and they were going to pull a twist in the end, but they did not. And I don't know what to feel about that. Um, but yeah, like I get it. Like Stein, uh, like they already explained the whole situation that Stein is kind of uh, more susceptible. Yeah, towards this madness. And after like the Kishin became, became unsealed and he started falling into this whole like thing of madness and Medusa took uh, advantage of that and did this but yeah I don't know <laughs> but like thinking about it if really Stein was like doing all of this as a trick to trick Medusa uh, it would have been like overwhelmingly they would have been powerful like Stein, Maka, Rona all of them would be at the same place and Medusa would be alone so thinking about it like that, um, maybe this is more balanced and this is how it was supposed to go. This is like something that is more balanced as I said, like uh, the power levels. Uh, for example, uh, even though uh, power level of, um, now like I mean Krona and uh, Mari's team is a bit more than Stein and uh, Medusa. I'm, I'm saying this because obviously Medusa has not like not does not have her full strength, and um, Stein is one of the strongest. But still, he is like alone, and Medusa is kind of supporting him. But the thing that makes them overwhelm their opponents is the fact that Mari cannot like hurt Stein, or like cannot like uh, use her full strength against Stein. And Krona cannot like use his full strength against Medusa because of uh, like the shackles that is binding him and uh, her being uh, Medu uh, Krona's mom. So all of these situations kind of like make them more powerful. But now that Maka has joined in, Maka and Soul, uh, the power balance will again kind of shift, and it will be like uh, same to same, unless and until Medusa uh, like. Uh, Mari and Krona finds it within themselves to really like uh, unleash their full power in battle because Krona has to uh, like forget everything and fight like Medusa seriously and Mari has to also like forget all of the things like Stein being their comrade and all and understand that I have to knock Stein out just so that I can take him away from here otherwise nothing could be done so she has all to also has to like use her power unless and until that happens i doubt i don't know but uh, like thinking about it maka and soul has that uh, like demon power within them uh like well, not maka but soul has that and maka has that uh, like anti-demon like wavelength i think that's they call it is something like that uh so yeah that was the uh, so I don't know like they might be even able to like overwhelm their opponents themselves as well who knows we'll see mm, yeah uh, okay and I doubt they are going to take much time uh, resolving this because there are a lot of more things to be resolved for example Kishin versus uh, all of them that's still going to happen so I'm guessing it will be like wrapped up in the next episode this whole thing uh, of like bringing Stein back and all like uh, conclusion will be like reached in the next episode or like the episode after that excuse me and after that I'm guessing they will like focus on the like Kishin battle so let's see what happens and yeah and as i said like, like they really were not ready for this whole thing like not only krona but mari as well like she knew that they were going in a place where time might go against them that she might have to fight against time but obviously like you cannot put emotions uh cast aside emotions and uh suddenly start fighting Stein that you can't do that 
and so that's why maybe if they took another partner with them who was unrelated to the whole situation like both of them are somehow related to the to stein and medusa so them going to fight with them is really something i don't know like that they should not have done and she, like who knows like like they should have at least taken either taken another person or like replaced either one of them with someone else but like this is a shonen anime so yeah you have to like accept the whole thing about like standing up against your um what do you call it uh standing up against your like fears yeah in case of rona standing up against your fears or standing up against your loved ones so that uh you know like this is the shonen trope like uh you fight for your loved ones or you fight uh, for yourself or you fight to break out of the chains that are like uh constricting you and like i'm like i'm guessing like in the next episode uh most probably like maka and Nisa will definitely have a fight and somehow like uh, maka would knock some sense into krona and krona will get back up and decide to fight medusa seriously this time and Mari might also realize seeing that and decide to fight Stein um, using her full power as well. Yeah, because obviously these guys are not weak. Like, Mari is a death site. And being a death site means that you have, like, she definitely has that power. Otherwise, she wouldn't, she wouldn't have been able to get to that position. But as Marusa kind of said that uh, he doesn't have a partner, but still, uh, they uh, in one of the episodes, I think they said that they, like they are like pretty strong themselves. Like they can wield themselves, like partial transformation, like um, Mari did in this episode. And we also saw Justin fighting. So like they are plenty capable themselves. So and Krona, like obviously Krona is pretty strong as well. Like we've seen her battle with Maka, and Maka was not able to do anything. Unless and until she like tapped into that power of like soul, she was like being beaten. So they're pretty strong, but like bringing the like making the, these two come into the mission like this, where like they are like hugely involved with both of the parties, is something that I don't know why they did. Like they should have like thought like maybe maybe both of them would be like hesitant. Uh, when they like really reach the place and like replaced either one of them or like made someone else come alongside them who could have at least like knocked some sense into them but ultimately like Maka came in so like uh, yeah like it kind of like uh, like she is kind of like a third party in this whole situation like uh, Maka and Sol really do not have as uh, a close relationship with Medusa or um, Stein as Mari has with Stein, Stein and Rona had with Medusa. So yeah, they are like a third party so they can like act in a neutral manner and knock some sense into them. So yeah, in, in the end it kind of like worked out anyways. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm only like... Um, <laughs> really like i don't know feeling conflicted about the whole situation of stein uh, being manipulated by medusa i don't know but like that's an accomplishment for medusa like manipulating stein however the hell she did it and she took her time and that's a big win for her <laughs> yeah and she said something about like uh, we already heard her explanation of why she wants like uh, Kishin to come like why did she want to unseal Kishin because obviously she thinks that uh, in peace times uh, people stop advancing and she wants to uh, she as a scientist wants humanity to evolve even more 
so that's why she was that was her like uh explanation for unsealing kishin and she's also like saying it in this episode as well like uh i want to see him like people like everyone evolve so <laughs> like uh i don't know is this is really the way to see people evolve like manipulating stein and all uh, i think most probably she manipulated stein and um, because of this reason because she knew that she herself is not strong enough so she would have kind of has a, have a bodyguard and at the same time shibusen would also hesitate to like like attack her and that's also the reason why she gave up brew like she like made preparations for each and everything like she has amazing insight i have to say like each and everything that she did strategize and all um they were like done with um stream like planning and everything and not like a single thing that he, she did was without any reason like, in everything she did like first unsealing kishin then uh, uh, like taking a host in a body that is a child uh, that kind of like makes people hesitate to attack her as well but at the same time um like she was also unable to like take host of a uh, like bigger body because she was unable to do that she not have the power at that time that and then like uh, going deliberately to arachne kind of like <laughs> god damn like uh, plain planting a spy there getting the position of the brew going there taking the brew coming back and uh, now nah, pl nah, planting the brew with a fake one and then coming back uh, making the others believe that like arachne believed that mm, the brew was destroyed or something and using that as an opportunity to uh, uh, oh then going back to death city again uh, manipulating uh, krona using krona to tap into the like stein's mind and like kind of make his madness go like become more serious and then <laughs> coming to shibusen um giving the brew to them making herself like safe for the time being uh, and also re revealing the uh, like position of arachne so that arachne <laughs> shibusen would be like squabbling around and she would be kind of safe coming out of the place also provoking stein stein followed her becoming kind of like a bodyguard and <laughs> god damn like oh boy this is some planning like what the hell uh, well she is a scientist and she kind of a scientist and um not a scientist but a researcher and yeah she's pretty intelligent and brainy so <laughs> like uh okay so yeah that was uh, this episode and um nothing much happened as we see this episode was basically um medusa uh rona and mari going into medusa's place kind of having a quarrel with her <laughs> And then like they started fighting and them being unable to do anything because of the relationship with like Krona with Medusa and um Mari with Stein almost being defeated and ultimately Marka coming in. Yeah. So yeah guys um this was episode number forty four of Soul Eater. So yeah um the next episode we'll probably see the uh, like the continuation of this like it kind of like ended in a cliffhanger kind of cliffhanger so yeah and i'm guessing they'll like uh, end this whole situation in a few episodes one or two episodes because there's a lot more things happening in the background and those are like more important stuff yeah anyways guys so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed Please be sure to do so. Comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to share about this episode or the anime in general. I'll be sure to check them out. Uh, and also, uh, the poll is in the comment section, which will be uh, 
from which I'll be selecting the anime to react to after Soul Eater ends. Replacing this. Yeah, you can go and vote for it. So yeah, guys, um, I'll be back in the next week with a new episode of Soul Eater. Until then, goodbye. Have a nice day.